so this is one of those black kind of navy blue rocks sometimes you cut these open and they have agates inside this one I'm not sure if it's a nodule or not I'm gonna take it home and cut it open it might be a dud but I can see when you see this white that white kind of opal tracing there it's a telltale sign anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna open it I'm gonna cut it open and see what it has Okay, so we cut that rock. I cut it into slabs here, as you can see. Uh, I've got two end pieces and two middle slabs. My hunch was correct. This ended up being one of those odd rocks that I find from time to time. I've only actually found four of these. This is the fourth one I've only ever found. And they're these black to navy, to really dark navy blue silica rocks. They look like nodules most of the time. And the inside of them, when you cut them open, they're red, filled with jasper and agate. And they're super cool. I'm going to get these wet here for you. So here they are wet. And you just, it's really hard to describe these. It's, they're just super cool. This is, what you're seeing here is like a mixture of chalcedony, jasper, and agate. And it's really got this gelatinous look to it. But it's definitely chalcedony because when you zoom in, you can see the agate. And the chalcedony windows. And you almost see that the jasper kind of has a, it's like a jello kind of look to it. But it's really cool. Really cool stuff. And just the, the black and the white, or the navy blue and the white, I guess, with the red. It just makes for a unique combination of colors. And these things take really awesome polishes, actually. Here are a couple of the other ones I found over the years. Here's one. Here it is dry. This is one I found a couple years ago. Kind of similar. You have you see the kind of looks like a nodule, navy blue, and then when you open it up, you know it's got the the different color. I'll get this one wet as well. So this one's got yellow and red in it. And while I don't find this one as spectacular as the last one we found, it still has got its own cool little features in it. Almost looks brecciated. But, you know, when you zoom in on this one, you still see that gelatinous kind of texture. But, like I said, these are super hard, too. When you cut, when you cut these, they're super hard. This is a cool little spot here. It's got the... Lots of play on colors there. Blue, white, yellow, pink, red... Really cool. And I'll show you one here that I've actually tumbled. I've shown this one on the channel before. This is one of the first ones I found that kind of opened my eyes to these, these types of rocks. But as I said, I tumbled this one. I cut it and just tumbled it. I didn't do anything else with it. But you can see it takes a really nice polish. Even the outside crust of the nodule it takes a good polish and when you zoom in on these and you can see the agate in it this one's a this one's a better probably the best one I found as far as features you can see a lot of agate features lots of eye agates in there kinda looks like nebula but really cool so I mean you know, these don't look like much when you find them on the beach. You, I'm sure many people walk over them. Um, they look really abnormal. Here's a big one. 
that I haven't cut into yet. Uh, I don't know if this one's going to have anything. There's like a lot of this white opal crust on the outside. Um, but yeah, this this is what they look like. I mean, really, they don't look like much when you see them on the beach. You know, someone would walk over that. But if you know what they are and kind of have a feel for them, uh, they can hold some pretty cool stuff inside. So these are really unique things. Like I said, only if I've ever found four of them, but uh, haven't really been looking for them really also. But I think from now on when I go to Scott's Bay Beach, I'm going to start looking for these exclusively uh, because I have, you know, run across them from time to time. So and I'm not really looking for them. So I'm going to look for them more often because, yeah, they're really cool. So I think what we'll do with these today, I think with these two, I'm just going to make some freeform cabs and I might, you know, term independence. We'll see. But... I want to keep some of the blue and the white and the red together. So we'll use the Cab King. Kind of go as, kind of shape them up as we go and just see what they turn into. And uh, I'll show you how they take a polish here. Here are our final freeform cabs. They turned out fabulous. You know, just really awesome material. Took a super awesome polish. Even the blue and the white. I mean, the blue is all silica as well. Like it's it's not a like it's not a shaley type material. It's all silica, the whole rock. Uh, silica and opal. Like the white, I think, is like an opal. But it just yeah turned out great. Even the even this blue and white part, I mean, all the white is just really tiny, intricate bands of opal. Just really cool stuff. Really nice to work with. You can see the, you know, it's got these little agate windows in there. I like this part, and this one's like a swirling. I kind of, like... It looks like space. Like, it looks like, like the blue and the white is space, and then you got, like, nebula, red nebula all around it. Maybe we'll call these nebula rocks? I don't know. We'll put these up on the Etsy store, if anybody's interested in them. Put them up for pretty cheap. Again, on the Etsy store, if it's your first time buying, and you, uh, you know, you buy, you buy something like a pendant or one of these 
little cabs. I usually fill a flat rate box full of rocks for you. Uh, you know, just our way of saying thank you for uh, buying stuff from the store. Head on over to the store, check them out. These will be there as long as they last. First come, first serve, obviously. And with that, I uh, want to wish everybody a great weekend, and uh, we'll catch you next one.